This here is a summary of every single mechanism that you need for organic chemistry and it's color-coded to the flowchart that I made as well. This one right here. As scary as organic chemistry is, there's only three key things that you need to know. Reagents, conditions, and mechanisms, which is literally all of those things that I just showed you combined. Those were the resources that I made for my students. You can use them as well. They're completely free for you to use. It's in the link in my bio. You just have to put in your email because it's easier for me to send it to you that way. But make sure you check your junk mail as well. Once you have the resources, I want you to go through literally just a bunch of questions on the mechanism practice. For every single type of mechanism that you see, I want you to do at least 10 questions of them. From there, you will then start to solidify your knowledge of like, okay, if I have an alcohol, what mechanisms does it have? Oh, alcohols can only undergo either elimination or nucleophilic substitution. Once you know those, it becomes so easy because there's no other way that you can draw your mechanisms except for nucleophilic substitution or elimination. Same with like benzenes, for example, it can only undergo electrophilic substitution. So it simplifies the entire thing for you because you only have to remember one thing. If you struggle to find the questions, let me know because I don't think I put it in the resources, but I can put up another resource where it's like homework for you guys to do.